Hello YouTubers! What we are going to do today is we are going to use the Silhouette Cameo to cut paper to make paper beads today. So, my mom used to make, this was one my mom made, way back in the day out of like uh, newspapers and magazines, it was magazines. So they would make them out of magazines and she would wrap them around uh, toothpicks. So that's kind of where this idea started. This is one of hers. I remember her wearing this when I was a kid with a dress that matched. And so um, I thought this would be great. The Cameo can cut paper and then we can roll them. So it's kind of a fun different project for the Cameo. So let me go show you what you need. All right, so basically how this works is we use the Cameo to cut out paper. And these are the templates. Um, it's gonna be a free download um, on the webpage. And then we're gonna, sp uh, we're gonna turn them and decoupage them and that's how we get our beads. So. My favorite paper to do this with is the scrapbooking paper. This is the scrapbooking paper from Hobby Lobby. It's a bit thinner, and that's why I like it. It's easier to turn, and I like the beads a little bit better. Um, fatter paper gives you fatter beads. So like these two are the same, these two are the same bead template, but you can see how much fatter that green bead is than the other one because it is fatter paper. It's also easier to turn. So you're gonna need some kind of scrapbooking paper. All of these little paint beads were made from this paper. I think we're gonna try this paper, this uh, the roses. And because we're cutting on paper, you need a well-loved mat. So this is a Cricut mat. You can use your silhouette mat, it doesn't matter. Just a well-loved mat for your um, paper. And then I'm going to use we're gonna, what, it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these um, these plastic hollow toothpicks to turn them. And so you can see them up in there. The reason I like this is it always gives you somewhere to make sure your bead can go when you string it. Various other methods can sometimes leave it where you can't actually get a string in there. And that's why I like these. So I'll leave a link up down below in the description because you wanna make sure that they're hollow Q-tips. So they need to be the plastic Q-tips and not the paper Q-tips. You're gonna need regular, you're gonna need regular tape and glue. And then I've been using decoupage, but I imagine any um any decoupagey kind of thing will work. And then um and this is um this is the the purple glue, kids glue. You need it um to glue them together. So I don't know if it'll work as well with like liquid glue or anything like that. And then I've been using this to cut off our Q-tips. And then I've been using, this is a Kleenex box. And I've got to take this out. But this is what I've been using to let them dry. So, just so you know when I get there. So, let's go set it up in the Cameo and I'll show you how to cut it. Alright, so we're in Silhouette Studio. And these are the templates that are going to be free for download. All of these will. Um, they'll come in one single SVG file. And each template will give you a different style of bead. And then if you wanted to make a bunch for like a necklace, you could um, delete what you don't want and then just cut a bunch of the same ones. Um, these are what I came up with. You, um, there's, uh, these are all the various ones I have tried and played with. Um, these are the ones I kind of like the best. Um, if you come over here to the triangle or the, not the triangle, the rectangle, you can make your own template. Um, you can edit it and you can delete, hit the delete key on the keyboard and make triangles and then add in additional edit points just by double clicking and add in ex extra points and make whatever template you want to. If you like one of these, you can edit these guys too. Um, see and move them around if you want to. So. There's a lot of um, ability to customize and kind of make what you want to make in here. Um, so feel free to feel free to make whatever it is you want to make. So, but these are the ones we're going to make. And then we're going to go over here to um, send and all of them come up. So apparently I've been cutting, I have chose plant cardstock plain and score defaulted which apparently is what I've been cutting my paper on, unbeknownst to me. So, I'm gonna leave it on score. I like the force of 15. Um, and then I've been cutting it with a blade of two, not one, blade of two. 
and um, it seems to cut pretty well for me. You're going to want to test cut this because um, you're going to want fairly clean cuts on any of the little points so that uh, if not, you're going to be able to see it on your beads. Um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to tape our paper onto our mat and then let it go. All right, so we're cutting it on a Cameo too. You can cut this on any of the Cameos, a one, two, three, or four. And then I've got my mat and I've just taped my paper down and we'll hit load mat. Blade set at a two and we're gonna hit send. So double check that it has been cut before you unload it from the machine. If it hasn't and it needs to be cut some more, um, send it through again. But mine's cut. All right. So when you take these off the mat, just be kind of careful because they're kind of weirdly shaped. So um, just be really careful when you pull them up. All right. So all of these work the same. We're going to spin them around our Q-tip. So what I like to do is tape them. This is just regular tape. And then you spin them. Now for this one, you're gonna to wanna to keep it kind of in the middle. You can move it around and giving it different shapes. And then at this point, we take our regular glue. And just glue them. And that's it. And basically, you just kind of, you know, rinse and repeat based on what you want to, which beads you want. Um, And then for these guys that have two of them, I kind of spin, I miss, worry about one of them and then come back and deal with the other one. And for these guys, what I like to do instead of keeping them in the middle, I like to make sure they're all at the end and it kind of gives like this hourglass effect. Then once you get done with that one, you can come back and spin the other side. And see, so now I like to keep them all there at the top. Up there at the top. And that kind of gives you like a cool like hourglass little bead. So you can, um, so that gives you like an hourglass bead. You can also put them in the middle. So if I keep them on the end, I get this little like hourglass bead thing. If I do them in the middle, I get this, which is basically like a double bead. And so you can kind of do that with any of these. So this one is the big triangle and see I've, I've kept them all, I've kept the edge up here. So that's where I'm getting like this long one. You can also squish it in the middle and it gives you a different look all together. So these are absolutely customizable and you can make all sorts of different beads. I think that would be cool as an earring. 
And obviously, as you make these bigger or smaller or longer or skinnier, you get different shapes. Um, you can also stack them on top of each other to get taller beads, skinnier beads. Different patterns and different papers will give you different looks as well. All right, just so you can see, they're all done the same way. Tape them, spin them, and then uh, glue them down. But I didn't want to bore you to death with that. So I wanted to show you. So this little one with the fat little middle is done with this template that kind of narrows in. And then this just round little bead is made with the big rectangle. And then this little one with a three, you can either do, see all of these guys are in the middle, or I did two where they're lined up at the end and then the middle one is in the middle. So these beads were both made with that same template. And then with a three right here, you get this. And then this one I did You've got a longer piece and a shorter piece. I just did both of them at the end. All right, so after you get your beads rolled, you're gonna need to seal them. This is just good old Mod Podge. Um, I've been doing two coats. Um, I'm sure you could do more coats. The more coats you do, the smoother it will get, I would imagine. Um, but it's really not that high tech. I just kind of gob it on. Um, and I, it's a healthy coat, but not like a, I try not to just completely glob it on or leave any big globs. That's not really that high tech. And then this is my tissue box and they fit, see, they just fit so well right there. And then I leave them in here to dry. And then once they get their two coats on, um, we're going to cut the ends off and then you'll have any number of paper beads you want to make. Alright, so that's my first coat on. I'm going to let these guys dry, and then I'll come back and put a second coat on. Alright, so I got two coats of Mod Podge on these, and I've let them dry overnight now. And my favorite way to, to remove the extra, um, the extra Q-tip part is with the rotary cutter. This is a self-healing cutting mat. This is a rotary cutter. You could also do this with scissors. And this is also a brand new blade or a fairly new blade. And you just pop them right off. And you have a bead. There you go. And you have a brand new bead. And if you get a little bit of the paper like there. It doesn't really matter so much, especially if you want to make sure you coat some of this with Mod Podge. But see, so you have a bead, and then you can just throw away your little extra bits of paper. There you go. So from there, you can use these on any number of things, um, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, whatever you want to. Um, the other nice thing about this is, um, there's no metal in this for anybody who's allergic to metal. These are all paper and decoupage. So I hope you liked our little video. It's something a little different for a change. Um, just cutting some paper. If you have any questions, let me know down in the description or down in the comments. And I will be back with another video soon. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.